Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, the Ring of Fire is really rocking and rolling today. They are listing 10 earthquakes, a 5.0 near Fiji, a 6.1 Indonesia, a 4.9 uh, Japan, another, uh, well, 4.9 by Kermadec, and that was an aftershock. Um, a 5.5 for Sumatra, Indonesia, a 5.8, Papua New Guinea, a 4.9, uh, Kermadec Islands, a 4.3 for Madu, and there's that 6.2, I said there was an aftershock, uh, Kermadec Islands. A 4.8 for Japan, and that's it. What's going on? Well, we got the Pacific Plate slowly shrinking, going underneath the Australian Plate and the um, Philippines Plate. And they're listing three here on USGS for today, a 6.3, which USGS said was a 6.2, a 5.8 for the Solomon Islands, and up there by Indonesia, um, a 6.2. This here is the 6.2 that Geoscope says was a 6.3. Two people said they felt this earthquake. And here we have the focal mechanism ball. And then using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. And over here, we got Australia. There is a lot of micro plates over here because of the movement of the Australian plate slowly moving north. The next earthquake was a 5.8 by Papua New Guinea. And then using Google Earth, we'll zoom into that location. There you go. Let's bring this out a little bit. Yeah, this is all caused by the Australian plate moving north. And yeah, let's bring it out. So here we have that earthquake, and over here we got the Pacific Plate, which is moving, which is slowly shrinking. This area here is the Solomon Sea Plate, and let me bring this down, yeah, and then the um, Australian Plate. And then the Focal Mechanism Ball here on Geoscope. And then the last one Geoscope is showing is a 6.2 by Minihasa. But USGS says it was a magnitude 6.1. So here on Geoscope, 6.2. Four shocks and aftershocks. Let me bring this down. And then we'll go to the focal mechanism ball, which is right there. And then we'll use Google Earth and zoom into that location. Right there. Yeah, it's actually a 6.2, but USGS says it was a 6.1. Let's bring this out so you can see the location better. All right. Over here on the left, we have Indonesia. Continents definitely on the move today. How many of you have noticed the ring of fire and how active it is compared to what we have or don't have here in the United States? Yeah, they'll probably have some more earthquakes up along the Aleutian Islands. Uh, the most recent was on the 3rd, a 6.1. The largest, I should say. It is just a matter of time before the United States, somewhere along the West Coast, has a large earthquake. Yep, the continents are definitely moving, and today is only the 6th of the new year, January 6, 2021. Oh, it looks like another earthquake just popped up on the map, a 5.0 um, by Indonesia. So let's zoom in on that location. Right there. All right, let's mark it. And we'll bring it out to its location. Up over here, we have India, and then down over here, we have Australia. Yeah, not very often they have earthquakes along this um, one fault zone. This is the Sumatra fault zone. 
in what was it 2012 there was that magnitude 8.6 and then in 2002 there was a magnitude 8.4 near that location and we got spreading here new earth being formed as the magma comes up and then we got malaysia and uh, mount Sinabog volcano or bung excuse me yep Yep, a lot of earthquakes, a lot of large earthquakes, and it's only the 6th of the new year. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.